Okay, hey guys. Uh, Monday, April 14th, day after Mother's Day. Um, happy boy to Mother's, Mother's Day to all you moms out there um, that may be watching, my mom included. Um, our 1985 Honda Nighthawk um, just rode away. Um, we I sold that. Nice young man bought it, kind of cut him a deal on it, but uh, we still made a few dollars on it, so it's okay. Um, that kind of closes that saga out for now, and um, our new project is here. That uh, Also, we brought that in tonight, so we'll get to that in a couple minutes. Um, but before that, um, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Greg Porter um, from Greg's Garage, um, YouTube uh, guy that uh, you know we come in contact with and he's got a lot of good videos uh, does all kinds of different stuff um, got a little package from him today in the mail um, Greg really appreciate that um, kind of our, our first sticker here that we're we're getting um, I think as we accumulate our stickers we're gonna have to do something here on our wall um, so, Greg, I'm just going to hold on to this until we decide what we want to do. I uh, really appreciate it. And um, as a, apparently is custom, a little, little personal note there from Greg, too. And, uh, Greg, we appreciate it. Thanks for the kind thoughts. And, uh, you know, Greg, Greg is one of those kind of guys that uh, just, uh, you know, he's, he's a nice guy to chat with. I enjoy his videos, and he's a class act. So, once again, Greg, you know, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. And, uh... Yeah, we'll get some more stuff going on here. But uh, now, uh, let's uh, kind of go and take a look at what we brought in. This is the one. This is the uh, this is the one I've been looking for. This is going to be our big project. So uh, here we go. That's what we got. We have a 1977 um, Ford F-150. It's a custom. It's a uh, 351 or 400. I haven't looked to see which yet. Um, Four-wheel drive. It's a four-speed transmission. Uh, Dana 44 in the front with locking hubs. Uh, Ford 9-inch in the rear. Um, I have no idea what ratio this truck has. This is a uh, ranch truck out of Elko, Nevada. Um, Reasonably straight, got a few little bumps and bruises on it. It uh, is not rusty. Um, it's, from what I can see, it's lived its whole life out in the uh, in the Nevada desert. Um, you can see, rockers are good. Um, you get up underneath, and uh, uh, we can see here. Uh, you have to excuse me; it's not easy. But the floor. Floors are all, all good. I don't know how well that's focusing in on everything. Um, no rust at all. We got some scalies on the frame. It's about about it. Uh, bottom bed, bed of the box is good. So, you know, definitely a cool falling apart muffler. Um, this truck has been sitting, as far as I can determine, from you know the stories and everything from when you buy something this truck has been sitting for five or six years um, it's a uh, it's pretty complete ex with the exception of there's no fuel tank um, as the story goes I guess the when they tried to get this thing going there was a lot of uh, rust and stuff in the tank so they took it off and tried some stuff with that it didn't work ended up throwing the tank away two or three years ago I guess and uh, but what they did do is they purchased a, a brand new fuel tank and sending unit and stuff for it which they threw in with the truck so we've got that um, we'll have to put it in I'll, I'll show you the um, the gas tank I currently have rigged up in here it's uh, kind of interesting but you know it's it's one of those what you do things um, 
we have the air cleaner um, jack and all that stuff it's it's actually in the truck um, some new pieces on it. it's got a new ignition module um, a new coil um, the fellows that I bought it from I think they were doing that trying to get it going it's got a new battery um, solenoids fairly recent um, got a pretty good size radiator and as you can see the uh, the inner fenders uh, here you know the, where the hood hinges mount and everything are all really really good um, that's definitely the advantage of being here you know in the desert stuff just doesn't rust um, everything rubber or vinyl you know deteriorates and you end up with nothing but everything else stays just like it was so like I say it's been sitting for a long time it has no fuel tank but She actually doesn't run too bad. Um, quiet. There's a bunch of vacuum hoses just hanging off of here, wide open and everything, but she actually doesn't. Uh... Doesn't run too bad, so. Kind of kind of happy with that. Um, for what I paid for the truck, I would have I would have still bought it running or not, to be honest with you. So we got that, uh, I'll show you, this is my, you know, this is this is my fuel tank here, but 7-up bottle full of gas, just kind of plumbed it over to the fuel pump and up and over, so that seems to work good enough to run it anyways. Um, I don't really know what we've got going on here with mirrors, we've got mirrors all over the doors. Um, ranchers here sometimes do some kind of interesting stuff. Um, Greg Porter, uh, this dash is for you, I guess, buddy. I'm going to be watching with great interest um, what you do with the dash and your Gia because, you know, believe it or not, this one's no good. And uh, this is the type of thing, you know, it, stuff here in the desert doesn't rust but uh, everything else just goes to pieces. So, got a little bit of stuff to do. You know, the steering wheel's kind of cracked. Um, there's no, there's no door rubbers on it, um, for whatever reason, I guess. Somebody felt that they needed to come off or they cracked and fell off. Um, so it's, uh, it's not really, too bad a truck. Um, like I say, it, it's reasonably straight. It's got a few little bumps and bruises. It's got, uh, you know, multiple mirror mount holes, um, cab lights, slider rear window. It's got the side toolbox. And like I say here, um, kind of a kind of an alley back there, and the bumpers crashed in the back. Um, but uh, the side trims in halfway decent shape. I don't. This is kind of interesting here. I've never really run across anything like this. It's some sort of a some sort of a step, um, and it kind of goes in and out with the door. That's kind of a new one. New one on me. Um, Got, looking through here, we have, <laughs> believe it or not, we've got the, uh, we've got an owner's manual, 1977. We've got all the, all the original stuff that came with it, a little owner's card. Yeah, that's kind of, kind of cool. Um, I've got about five snow scrapers that I've counted so far so we won't have any uh, shortage of those next winter I guess um, good sized contractors toolbox just sitting in here um, 
taking that off. That should be a good Craigslist piece. We'll, uh, we'll sell that and get rid of it. Um, tailgate's a little bit beat up. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty much what we've got. Um, like I say, this is kind of the one I've been looking for. This is going to be our, this is going to be the project. Um, I've had several of these trucks. I always like them. And um, just this vintage of Ford pickup is my all-time favorite. So we'll be doing this up. Um, we'll be doing, you know, everything mechanical that it needs, getting it, uh, getting it roadworthy again. Um, I probably uh, will lift it. Um, not really crazy. Maybe, you know, four inch, something like that. Probably 32 or 33 inch tires. Um, that'll actually go halfway decent on this. And, uh, you know, then we'll, we'll have some fun, do some body work. We'll get this thing uh, straightened out, painted. See what we can, see what kind of trouble we can get in with that. Um, so, that's it. That's our that's our new project. We'll have to come up with a cool name for it, I guess. But it, uh, yeah, I've been looking for one of these for a little while. I, I missed out on one about a month ago, and I really kicked myself for not just jumping on that one. So when I found this one, I was all over it. Um, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do. With this, like I say, I don't know what what we got going on with all the mirrors. I don't, I don't think these mirrors are in the right position. They're supposed to be farther back, and I don't know if this was just the original ones that came on this one. I mean, they do look like Ford mirrors, but I I don't know. So, anyways, we got some stuff to straighten out, and uh, it'll be kind of a cool kind of a cool project. I'm going to take all you guys along with me when we do it. So, that's it. Uh, grills, surrounds kind of monked up a little bit. We'll have to uh, see if we can straighten that out some or find a better one. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see if we can make this look like something. And... Uh, biggest issue I'm going to have is uh, a truck this size is not going to fit in my little shop here so we're going to have to uh, do some figuring on that I guess um, maybe we'll do it in sections or I don't know we'll figure that out but uh, yeah it's a it's a beauty so there she is, and, uh, you know, we'll get looking at some more stuff, and I'll post some more stuff on it, and let the adventure begin. So, anyways, like I say, again, um, anybody that's watching, check out the uh, Mumble Chat. Um, get a hold of uh, 265 Chevy on YouTube, and he'll get you all the information where you can get, uh, get hooked up and get in. And, uh, you know, get talking with some of the guys. Uh, last night, being Mother's Day, we probably, at one point, there was like maybe 10, 12 guys in there, and it kind of came and went and stuff. But, uh, yeah, Fred from Just Hogging was in there last night and talked to him a whole lot about painting. Some real good information from Fred. Nice guy. And, uh, you know, Snow Crusher from up in Canada, he's always cool to talk to, and WTBM 123. Um, just good guys. Um, and uh, you know some of the other guys are coming through or some really talented painters come through and some some good mechanics and stuff and they've got some interesting information to share so check it out um, we've been this twice now at uh, well what would be 8 p.m. central time um, on Sunday night we've gotten together and uh, we're going to try to keep it going and the room is open all through the week too so you can pop in and anybody's in there just you know get talking so that's a cool thing, so check it out. And uh, I guess uh, I'll upload this guy for you guys and uh, get some dinner and uh, maybe chat with some of you in a little while. Thanks.